today we're another with another fix a protector silly silex iron all right this is the model number as you can see in the series complain I get it is not working so I'm going to show you the basics the first step the first check what I'm going to do and let you see all right so now the meter is on ohms as you can see right there working all right Let's put the meter lead right there and I'm going to turn the knob hold on turn it for you you see properly as you can see nothing so all right we're going to go further into the iron by pulling the back screw here first and check the cable we're going to check from the plug right to the back and then we'll move further on to the iron all right so stay tuned for that so first we're going to pull these screw which i don't have so i'm going to use a flathead screwdriver terminal type and unscrew these screws and then later on i change these screws to a phillips all right all right so this iron is different so i'm sure the screws them this is how the screw look all right so this iron even though i pull the two back screws i have to remove this knob here in order to get to one screw that is right here so i'm going to show you in a bit all right all right so i use a terminal screwdriver to 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 put between the gap here and lift up the knob so now it exposes a screw right here so i'm going to unscrew this screw as you can see all right then i'm going to use a tweezer now and try and bring up the screw all right so now the back can come off right off as you can see all right so now we're going to check the back of this iron right here as you can see all right all right so now we're going to check the card so now we'll put one lead here and the other lead so we're getting a reading nothing there which is good turn it around one lead here the other lead right there which is good and nothing right here so this cable is good so now the cable is good so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove one two three four screw and remove this knob here to get into the iron to find out if it is a fuse or the thermostat or the element in the iron which is the soul plate here so all right let's get to that and let you see so the cable is good all right so i'm going to unscrew these remove this i'm going to show you how i'm going to remove this all right put it in the off position use the use the flathead prise it up as you can see I'm gonna remove this metal piece which is good and then this plastic piece right here all right so now we can safely remove these four screws and then this can easily lift up all right all right so now the uh, plastic part was removed so i'm going to remove one two three screws all right that is one two three screw all right now we're going to expose 
right here. All right, so now we're going to check the element of this iron. So now we're going to check here, which is good. We're going to check the thermostat now, which I'm going to put one lead here, one lead right here. And I'm going to turn the knob, which is good. So then now I'm going to check the fuse now. So one line of the fuse come here, right here, come put it right inside here. The other line of the fuse come right here. So this thermal fuse is blown. So I'm going to replace it by using these fuse. I will leave the link in the description below where you can get them on Amazon. So these are all the fuses. So I'm going to use one of these fuses to replace right here. All right. So we're going to disassemble right this screw right here in order to get to this fuse. All right. All right. So it has been disconnected. So I'm going to meter is working. See, one lead is here, next one is here, so that fuse is blue. So, I'm going to use this fuse now. So, this new one is going to replace right here. So, I'm going to remove these pins and then connect it and then let you see. All right, so stay tuned for that. All right, so this is the bad fuse. So now I'm going to show you bad fuse and this is the good fuse right there. So one hand right here, one hand there, and one in there. So the fuse is good. So now we're going to put on this sleeve and then fit it up and test it, let you see it. So I'm going to fit it up stage by stage and let you see it. All right. All right, so this is how it look. All right, so we're going to fit it up. All right, and then let you see. All right, all right, so we're going to assemble the tank now. All right. Hold on. All right, as you can see, all screws are put back. All right, so now it's time to put on this cover now. Right here, which this plastic piece go right there. This now comes right here all right all right hold on all right so plastic was put on the screw all right in and then you push this down all right that's working Alright, so now we are going to put in this pin right here, it's supposed to go in this groove right here. Hold well on, try my best to put it in like that. put in this black thing here hold on all right so finish fix it up so now 
we're going to turn a knob and you watch the meter here. Alright. Alright, so hold on, turn the knob here. See that? This fix was successful, so now we're going to plug it in. Alright, now we'll plug it in, as you can see right here. Right here. And the indicator light is down there. Alright. Alright, let it heat up. I'm going to show you. It is working as it's supposed to work I don't know if you hear that all right you see that the steam all right so if you like this fix please subscribe like comment and share and let me know in the comments below all right